Hey, what's going on YouTube? Today I'm going to be showing you how you can put a new CPU into your PC. So I'm doing this video demonstration with the Alienware X51. I'm not upgrading my processor, I'm just using my old processor, but the process is the same. When you take the processor out of the box, make sure to grip it by the sides so you don't touch the nubs on the back. So this is an LG A1155 CPU. If you're using an Alienware X51, make sure to get an LG A1155 compatible CPU. So press down on the CPU arm on the side. It should take a little bit of force. The arm should lift up and... So the little triangle on the edge of this CPU is going to align with the bottom left of the motherboard socket. So just drop it in and you're golden. Just press down. So if you hear a creaking, like, that's fine. But if you hear some crunching, like, that's not good. That means you misaligned it and you probably messed up your motherboard socket. So I have some thermal paste on this CPU. I'm going to clean it up. But when you get a new CPU, you're expected to use the Intel stock cooler with it. But the Alienware X51 already has a heatsink provided because it has a backplate that is compatible with this heatsink combination. So I'm going to have to stick with this uh, regular Alienware X51 heatsink. Um, the heatsink shroud, I don't think I'm going to use this. It's supposed to redirect some airflow so that um, it escapes out of this side. I don't really know how effective it is, but we're not going to be overclocking the CPU anyway, so it doesn't make whole lot of difference whether you use it or not. So the processor has had the thermal paste cleared off. Now I'm going to put a small dot in the middle. Arctic Silver thermal paste, that's a good brand. Okay. You have to reattach the heatsink fan into the CPU pin header right here. It's the white one. And congratulations, you have installed your CPU.